Example 1. Write the figure 4,561,023 in words. The table has been drawn. Let us start inserting the numbers from the right hand side to the left hand side. Three would go first to the unit column, followed by two, which goes to the tens. Zero goes to the hundred. Now, the next digit goes into the unit column on the thousand, which is the parent name. The next digit goes to the tens, still on the thousand. The next goes to the hundred, still on the thousand. And finally, the last digit is inserted in the unit column on the million, which is the parent name. Now, the step we are going into is to write out in words each number, followed by the corresponding headings or parent name of each column. Note, in doing this, you must look at where the last digit falls into. The last digit is 4 and it falls under the million, which is the parent name or heading. First, you write 4, followed by the parent name where it falls, that is million. You will write 4 million down. Then, we now proceed to the next digit, which is 5. This 5 will be the next word to write after 4 million, followed by the column's name, which is 100. This is then followed by the next digit, which is 6 and it falls under the column's name tense, but it is pronounced 60. After it, the last digit 1 goes to the unit column, so it is pronounced 561, one word. Remember, 561 is one word and it falls under the parent name thousand. Since zero is under the parent name hundred, you don't have to pronounce the zero hundred and you do not write it out in words. So, all you need to do is skip it and move to the next column where you have to under the parent name tense. And the last word three, which falls under the parent name unit, is joined the tense with the capital alphabet T and Y preceding it. So it is now pronounced or written as four million five hundred and sixty one thousand and twenty three. The next example is longer but easy to resolve if you followed the first example. Let's consider writing these figures nine eight seven six seven seven six four five seven in words. Step one. Draw out the table. Next step. Before you start filling your digits into the columns, remember that you are to fill your digits into the column from the right hand side and end it on the left hand side. As we said earlier in the first example, 1 is the first 
digits, and it goes to the unit column. The five is the next digit, and goes to the tens. The four goes to the hundred. The next digit is six, and it goes to the unit under thousand. The next digit is seven. It goes to the tens under thousand, and the digit seven also goes to the hundred under the thousand column. Six, the next digit, goes to the units under million. Seven, the next digit, goes to tens under the million, and eight goes to hundred under million. And the last digit, nine, goes to the last column, which is the billion column. Step three. Write out in words each number, followed by the corresponding parent name or heading on each column. Note: When writing in words, always end your statements with a parent name or heading. Let us write out in words our example. Nine is the last digit, and it falls under billion. So. When you're writing out, you should write it out with a heading that is nine billion. You now proceed to the next column. And when you go to the next column, you should write out all the digits you have there in one word, followed by the parent's name or heading. Eight in the next column of million falls under the subdivision of hundred. And you write it out as eight hundred, while seven, the next digit, falls under the subdivision tens, so you write it out as seventy. Then followed by the six, in the unit subdivision, all these is now pronounced and written out in one word. Eight hundred and seventy-six. Followed by the parent name or heading million. Remember, the parent name or column's heading should be written only when the entire digits for each subdivision is written under that column. Eight hundred and seventy-six million. You now proceed to the next column, which is thousand. The first digit seven falls under the subdivision hundred. You have it written as seven hundred. The next digit is seven. It falls under the subdivision tens, so it has to be pronounced and written as seventy. Then you proceed to the next subdivision, which is units. It has six. Under it, all these is pronounced and written out in one word, seven hundred and seventy-six, followed by the parent name or column heading, thousand. We now proceed to the next column, under the heading hundred. It has four under it, and it is written out followed by the heading. Where it falls, which is four hundred. The next column, which is tens, has five under it. You pronounce and write whatever you have under the tens with the alphabet C and Y, so it becomes fifty. The last digit one falls under the unit column, so it is pronounced. Attached to the tens preceding, so we can now write the figure out as nine billion eight hundred and seventy-six million seven hundred and seventy-six thousand four hundred and fifty-one. Please note how I pronounced this and how 
it is written out because this is very important. Let us try another example. Example 3. Write the figure 846-105-571-842-307 in words. To do this following the steps I earlier pointed out, first, draw a table with six columns. Remember, in the beginning of this discussion, I said that the table can be extended to a trillion. That is, first column from the right-hand side is unit U. Second column is tens T. Third column is 100. Fourth column is 1,000. Fifth is million. Sixth is billion. And seventh is trillion. Remember also that 1,000, million, billion, and trillion have subdivision of 100, tens, and units. So this example is presenting large numbers, which will further teach you on how to write large numbers that exceeds billion in words. In this example, we have a table that has seven columns. Please note that when writing in words, always end your statement with a parent name or heading. Let us begin from the right-hand side, that is the unit column. 7. The last digit goes under the unit column. 0. The next digit goes under the tens column. 3. Goes under the hundred column. We then move to the subdivision under the thousand. 2. Goes under to the unit subdivision in thousand column. 4. Goes under the tens subdivision followed by 8, which goes under the hundred subdivision. The next is the million column, and we start with 1, which goes under the unit subdivision. 7. Goes under the tens subdivision, and 5. Goes under the 100 subdivision. We then move to the billion column and 5 goes under the unit subdivision. 0 goes under the tens subdivision and 1 goes under the 100 subdivision. We then move to the last column, trillion, and 6 goes under the unit subdivision. 4 goes under the tens subdivision and 8 goes under to the 100 subdivision. We can now write the figure out in words as 846 trillion, 105 billion, 571 million, 842,307. I can hear somebody asking, that how do we use these large numbers in our everyday life? You will find it useful, especially for those of you that will come across such words in newspapers where government makes budget allocations using large numbers, in banks where cash deposits are usually done in large numbers, also in companies where cash transactions are done in large numbers and in foreign trade involving large sum 